It's pretty hard these days to have a conversation, even socially over a glass of wine, that doesn't get into duality, to blame, to conspiracy theories, masks, should we, shouldn't we, school, should they, shouldn't they, vaccinations. Being one on a spiritual path, which I have since as long as I can remember, it's a path to enlightenment, which is lightening up, which is as close to creation as we can get, so that we're clear and creating. I find it difficult. I don't want to engage in these discussions because they are a lower vibration. There is no right or wrong. There is only what is. And I liken this to sustain, sustainable agriculture, permaculture, regenerative agriculture. This is where you go into, in our case, an olive grove, and you see what's growing there. And you support what's growing there well. And you take seeds and you scatter them on the ground and you watch what grows well, what thrives. You don't fertilize the plant and forget the roots. You don't use pesticides and kill the insects that feed the animals. You don't have any negative aspect toward the holism of the earth and her wisdom. As someone said the other day, we don't grow plants, we grow soil, and the plants take care of themselves. And I think the same um, applies to us as human beings. We take care of community and the people take care of themselves. And when we go into community and start digging and, and um, blaming and shredding and spending time and energy on things that um, distract us from growing our own garden, our own garden of good works, our own garden of good feelings, our own garden of happiness, our own garden of joy. It's too easy to get scared about our finances. I'm the same as everyone else. Everything's changed. Everything's changed. And now we find new ways of doing things. But we can't find new ways of doing things if we get dragged down by the ankles into the darkness of... It's not evil, it's not good, it's neither one or the other, it's just distraction. Things that are outside of ourselves that we get mesmerized by. The media, whatever it is, Facebook, whatever it is. It's outside of us, and more than ever now we need to be inside of us. Where is our strength? Where is our spiritual fortitude? Where is our direct connection with God, with creation? How can we make a difference? How do I spend my day so that when I answer the phone, I answer with a smile? How can I go shopping and spend money even though my bank account is depleted, but with gratitude that I have money to spend even though it's on basic things? No superfluous things. How do I choose what I listen to, the movies I watch or not watch, the time I spend in meditation, the way I wake up in the morning. If I wake up and I'm feeling a little anxious or down, then I immediately plug in to prayer, quiet, meditation. If my own mind can't take me there, then I plug into somebody else's voice and go there taking me out of that slide into what our brain tells us. Our mind is not our friend. The sooner we know that, the happier we'll be. So as I sit in my garden on a Sunday, not knowing what the future brings, but knowing the greatest contribution I can give to evolution and creation is to sit quietly with the cicadas under the shade of the olive tree, watching the butterflies, 
feeling grateful, trying not to feel the need to do, to run into my computer, to make a proposal, to send a newsletter, to write an ad. Today is Sunday. I'm going to be here now. in deepest gratitude. And I can feel tears welling up because for me this is what gratitude feels like. That emotion that wells up in your heart when you see your child walk for the first time or you see your, your grown son waiting for you at the metro station after a long trip. These are the things that are the joyful things. And think how many grandparents aren't seeing their grandchildren right now. Whether it's legitimate or not legitimate, we have a moment to care from another perspective, to find another way of showing our affection, showing our trust in life, no matter what this virus is, what created it, who did it, who didn't do it, here we are. And you've got to trust that God is bigger than this. And if there is a breaking apart, that it is to make us vulnerable, soft, gorgeous, loving, compassionate, sweet inside. Everyone's on their path. Everyone. There is no evil but that we call it so. Thanks. Till next time.